Next stop, we're going to be fitting a Safari snorkel to this vehicle. It's imperative that you make sure you get a, either an ABS or a non-ABS snorkel for your vehicle as there is different pipe work inside the wing for different fitments. This is an ABS vehicle, you can see the modulator here for your ABS. So we've got an ABS snorkel for it, so we can start fitting that now by removing the air box and the intake pipes so we can start by sealing them all up. Pull off the intake pipe here so we can take the top of this filter housing off. What's very important on these is to make sure that you seal up all the pipe work as well, otherwise it's a waste of time fitting your snorkel if the water can soak, soak in somewhere else. You can see already there are holes here in the bottom of the air box in several different places which will let water in if they are not sealed up. Also these ones here will get sealed as well. There's a little trim clip underneath here, you probably can't see it at the moment, which holds this intake pipe on. There's also another one at the top here. that one off. You also see already how much water has already been inside of here from previous off-roading excursions. See here there's a hole right down through the centre of the mounting rubber so this will get sealed up as well and these mounting rubbers will also get sealed to the airbox to make sure it's all fully sealed and watertight. So you've got to blank this here off then cut a new hole in the side here for this adapter to fit on like so. This will be a new intake here for the side of your wing. Here I'm just using some brake cleaner to clean up the inside here. Let's get rid of all the mud so the waffle will stick and take to it, okay. Basically you've got to pull these rivets out. These are the inner parts of it which go into another clip and when these are pushed in the other clip splays open to hold it in place. You've got to pull these pins out then the second part of the clip comes out then afterwards. These are all the way around the inner wheel arch. It is bolted through down the yeah. bottom here. That gives the access you need there just by folding it down out of the way. Yeah, the template is specific for this vehicle. For every snorkel you get, you get a different template with it. It's got the cut out there, but it fits around the windscreen pillar, and that'll fit your door line there. That'll go along your wing top basically. You have an 8mm stud on the snorkel to hold it on, but he recommends drill 16mm holes for it to go through. It's the main hole there where your intake pipe is now going to go in through. The rest are all mounting holes for the snorkel. Centre punching all of the holes. Start with a 4mm drill bit as a pilot hole. Four of the holes. And once this is done, I'll remove a template then so it doesn't hold any of the swarf behind it against the bodywork and scratch the paintwork. So just doing it in stages at the moment, I'll be going through the steps drill bit then. Take out the I'll go through the step drill bit then to take out the remaining sizes needed. Step drill bit, it starts with a 6mm, it goes up to 20mm and 2mm inclination steps. It's very handy for doing jobs like this. This here is an 83mm hole saw. You're going to go through with now to make up the opening for your snorkel tube to go through the wing with. One big hole. That's the actual snorkel itself there. What it's going to do is put the mounting studs into it a second and check to make sure it does all fit and line up where it's supposed to. So what I'm doing now is going to lock tight the studs in for the snorkel. There's a little drip of blue Loctite on them. And screw them in. Basically what I'm doing here Putting two M8 
standard nuts on it then locking the two together to do this there's two nuts, two spanners basically just tying the two spanners towards each other so you're undoing the lower nut and doing up the higher nut then the two nuts lock together so basically just have your spanner on your upper nut and just wind it in until it's up tight basically now it's going to offer the snorkel up to make sure it does actually fit with the holes before I actually clean the holes up and paint them. Let's just see how it goes. That's it lined up there. So next plan now will be just to whiz around the holes, clean them all up, get rid of all the burrs, give them a nice bit of paint in there, stop them from rusting and corroding. And then we need to drill the inner hole then for the snorkel pipe to come into the engine bay with. The next stage now is basically to cut these pegs off here. And you've got this adapter plate which will then fit on in place to move the air box for the pipework to fit. And also, you've got to take these ribs off along here for this new adapter to fit on the side for your new intake hole for your snorkel to come through. These will all get sealed up and fitted on there. Now I've just drilled the four holes out to make this adapter plate onto it. These have been drilled out to four mil for four mil pop rivets to be taken in. What we'll do is smear it all with RTV as well, both sides to make sure it is nice and waterproof. I'm going to go for a smaller one and open it up. The larger one's a bit too big for it. Yep, this is all sealed up. And they're going to bore through for the snorkel tube to come through this hole saw. <laughs> so I'm check it, the ducting will fit through the hole. Not a lot of tolerance there, but it'll go through. Which is good. Now you've got the air filter housing sat in place. You've got to mark this hole here, which is where your mounting rubber sits in, and re-drill it for the rubber to go through the inner wing. Because now the whole air box has moved over a few inches towards the centre of the vehicle. There's also a bracket we've got to mount underneath this one here, which bolts the inner wing as well. Basically just pulled the rubber down through the mounting bracket there on the inside of the inner wing. So the airbox is all nice and securely in now. Okay. Okay. Going to RTV around this here now. This is going to go into your airbox. The other end is going to go into your snorkel then. The wiring here is in the way at the moment. Just trying to get all the wiring tucked down as tight as I can underneath the tube work here. Ah, oh, drop me nuts.
There you go.